It's Gizmo's Tip Time with me, Tia Brown, your Gizmo's Guru. Do you ever wonder why you can usually hear a bug before you ever see it? In this Gizmo, we will measure our reaction time in response to visual or auditory stimuli. We can also see the mean and standard deviation for each test and use the histogram to help us locate trends. Let's start by testing sight first. Notice you can also test sound. First, we have to select a shape and color to test. And then click Start. Each time we see the image, click anywhere in the blue region and continue doing this until the test is over. When the test is over, data for that test will show. The data given for each event is time from each event, which is the amount of time it takes to click in the region, or reaction time. Other data given is the mean time, standard deviation for the 10 events, and extraneous clicks. To see these pieces of data, we just select the table tab. You can even export the data or clear the data to start a new experiment. We can even see a histogram of the data by selecting the graph tab. By analyzing the shape of the histogram, we can determine if there is a normal distribution for the data. Experimenting several times will allow us to compare reaction times to determine how standard deviation relates to the consistency of data sets. To go back and choose a different variable to test, click New Exam. The menu at the top allows us to choose from sight, sound, or both at the same time. Have some fun experimenting and comparing sights and sounds. Every gizmo has a set of lesson materials to help you plan. I'm going to share a few tips with you from these materials, and maybe a few of my own as well. I use Activity A in the Student Exploration Sheet as a whole group activity to ensure students understand the concepts of mean, range, and standard deviation. Students can complete Activity B in the Student Exploration Sheet. In this activity, students can select a site and a sound reaction to test. Next, students can break into groups by sight and or sound tested to discuss their findings before answering the interpret, summarize, think and discuss, and apply questions. Then I like to use the extension activity in the lesson materials to apply what they learned in the gizmo. In this activity, students will create a controlled experiment. This could be done as a group exercise or individually. If you like this gizmo, why not continue the fun with the Reaction Time 1 Graphs and Statistics, Real-Time Histograms, and Time Estimation Gizmos. Thanks for listening in. See you next time, Gizmos fans.